Well, I guess we're not in Kansas anymore. Colorado! We made it to South Carolina! sign so we are in a visitor center right now and we got no friends with gotta go touch the sign got him. i think answering the question what our favorite state of the trip is is kind of like asking a teacher who their favorite student is we're here in quebec they're all great and you can't really pick a favorite but to be honest there definitely are some that stand out a little more than the rest and one of those states was colorado We are one mile above, above sea, sea level. level. One mile above sea level. Whoa, there's a Broncos Stadium. So we are here in Red Rock. Yesterday Snoop Dogg was here, today we're here on the stage. We were hoping for a page of the snow-capped mountains, but this is Sweeter Hail, and our RV isn't quite four-wheel drive, if you know what I mean. One of the things that I learned about myself was while I was driving the RV, I tended to sing. Now, one, I'm the world's worst singer, and two, I wasn't even singing good songs. A lot of the time, I would just make up songs about things that I would see on the side of the road. And sometimes Em would have to say, you know you've been singing about guardrails for a while, right? She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be, be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yeah. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. In Estes Park, we learned that just because it's sunny where you are, doesn't mean that there isn't a blizzard five miles away. That's the Rocky Mountains. We were gonna go on a hike to Dream Lake, but they said it was like 43 inches of snow. While we were in Denver, we decided to take a break from driving the RV and drive something that's a little lower to the ground. So today, we are gonna be doing a pretty unique experience. Instead of driving the RV today, we are here in Denver. We are driving this Lamborghini. Super legit, I can't even say it. This is what we're gonna be driving. In the car, we're about to get started. We're driving a Lamborghini. How do you feel? Feels so low to the ground compared to the RV. We're now in sport mode. Look who we got driving the Lambo. We headed down the Rockies to Colorado Springs. RV, meet Colorado Springs. And Emmy is running. Wow, Garden of the Gods, wow. Ed has announced that we should hike it. So it's the driver. So there's a rock climber way up there. They told us that you can't drive an RV. And when I said 39 feet, they like were like, whoa. But we're doing it. Joy. One of the most thrilling things that we did in Colorado was at Cave of the Winds. And it's from there all the way down to there. That's the drop down there. 
that's the thing that we're gonna ride up there. training center this is the closest that we'll probably be to actually with the olympic athletes training so figure we take advantage of it here in colorado springs they have this statue here and we're trying to figure out how this person is being held up Air Force Academy is a chapel of the Air Force Academy. And no trip to Colorado Springs would be complete without a hike up Manitou Incline. The hike is only a mile, but it's one of the more tiring miles that I have ever walked. It's a path that goes straight up an old Cog Railway, and I think that we may have been crawling up it as much as we were walking. There's Zoe. This is our view so far. It's getting steeper. So, can't even see the top. Another funny thing is, you can't really even see the bottom. The good thing about this hike though, is that whenever you're too tired, you can blame it on the elevation and not just being out of shape. <laughs> Someone just told us that the top that we see is not the actual top. <laughs> so, here we are a little ways to go, so. But a chipmunk says it's easy, so we're gonna make it. Checking in now. This is the top. Emmy's making it to the top. Oh, we did it! Well, we've completed our journey. Started the whole way down there, walked up, and now we are all the way to the top. We made it. our journey, except now we gotta go down. It was awesome getting to experience so many different things in Colorado Springs and Denver. But little did we know that further south, we were about to visit one of our favorite little towns in all of America. So I think getting trapped in bathrooms is like kind of my thing because I just got trapped in that stall. There's the RV. Whoa, pretty sky. Reporting live from Denver, Colorado. It's snowing. But we have friends in Denver and so we are grateful for them. We are gonna get snowed in with them this weekend and yeah, have a real shower. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing 